guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello, test mic. video I am collaborating with my vlogger cousin right here Hex or Beta and we're gonna be talking about common misconceptions about nurses and flight attendants so sa mga hindi pa nakakalam I am a licensed nurse and I've been practicing for about 10 years na so at least ngayon kung di pa familiar ang malalaman yun na yes at ako naman I've been a flight attendant for about 13 years already so ayan, alam mo marami talagang misconceptions and stereotypes pagdating sa mga jobs namin. Kahit hindi naman sa atin. Kahit hindi naman din sa amin siguro. But yeah, for this particular vlog, we're gonna be talking about nurses and flight attendants stereotypes. Yes. So yeah, let's go! Let's go and start. <laughs> so we have collated seven common misconceptions about being a nurse and about being a flight attendant. And ngayon, Susubukan namin magbigay ng konting explanation and enlightenment about these misconceptions. So, without further ado, yes. let's get straight into it! Yeah. Okay, first misconception about nurses is a nurse's job is to follow doctor's orders. Uh, okay, sige. Um, personally speaking, hindi naman siya laging. Hindi siya laging sumusunod lang kami sa doctor. But not all the time sinusunod namin yung doctor. Meron din kami pwedeng suggestion sa kanila. Kasi meron mas kilala din namin yung pasyon. Hindi lang din naman sila. So nag, yung ibang doctor talaga nagtatanong din sila kung kamusta yung pasyente or pwede ba sa pasyente. So I admire dun sa mga doctors na talagang tinitake nila yung suggestion ng, ng nurses. Kasi alam nila na in-honor din nila yung trabaho talaga na. So oh, hindi oh. din, hindi talaga, hindi naman kami tagasunod lang. Parang yun. Okay, alam nyo na yan. Okay. So, okay. Sa kanya. so, flight attendants are glorified waitresses. Ay, okay. I've been hearing a lot of this, kahit siguro hindi lang sa ibang tao, but pati sa mga ibang family members din. Narinig ko na rin yan ever since before. But I'd like to accept the, glo the glorified. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, wala namang masama kung tawagin ka ding waitress or whatsoever. Kahit ano pa mang job yan. Fine. So ako, I personally don't get offended when we are being called like that. But um, if I have to answer that question in particular, um, mahirap talaga yung mga pinagdadaanan namin na training to be a flight attendant. So if you guys are curious kung anong mga pinagdaanan, pinagdadaanan namin, um, or, kung paano ako naging flight attendant, I can put the link below. I have a vlog uh, discussing about how, uh, how I became a flight attendant. I would really have to say na, um, first and foremost, flight attendants are safety professionals. And second of all, yung service na ginagawa namin, it's, it's the one that you see on the airplane. Hindi nyo naman nakikita the safety um, procedures that we need to do prior the flight. So, yun lang yung nakikita ng mga tao sa airplane. So, I guess, um, okay lang naman yun. Okay lang naman na ganun nila kami pinaperceive. Yung lahat ng training na pinagdaanan ko talagang valuable to who I am right now. So, hindi ako masyadong affected about it. Okay. Nurses are sexually promiscuous. Wow. Okay. okay. So, hindi naman ako pwede bang salita dun sa mga fellow nurses ko. Kung talagang uh, minsan natatag sila or siguro nandun judge or yun nga, misconception na sexually promiscuous kami, I mean, per se, for, for, for nurses. Hindi naman din siguro. Siguro nga, pwede naman kasi isipin what if you're in a relationship. Siyempre, hindi naman masama yun. Tapos, um, baka... Nakikip, yun lang din siguro, baka may mga times kasi, sinasabi ko din doon sa mga nurses, kapag once na lumabas kayo outside of the school, huwag kayong mag-uniform pag pupunta kayo sa ibang lugar. Kasi hindi lang yung pagkataon mo, yung nire-represent mo, ang nagiging representation nun is the entire nursing community. Um, 
Masanay na tayo sa mga judgment. Oo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, talaga. Hindi lang siguro mga nurses talaga. Kahit naman din kami, natatag din kami ng ganyan. Party girls, promiscuous, kasi nga ganun-ganun. Flight attendants enjoy a lavish lifestyle. I would really have to say, hindi talaga. Hindi talaga. Mukha lang, because siguro, um, we were trained na to fix ourselves properly, like how to fix our hair, makeup, ganun. So, mukha lang, ano, mukha lang maarte. Mukha lang lavish. Pero hindi naman talaga. Believe me, like most of my colleagues, um, talagang would really die for good deals, cheap finds, ganito. So, siguro ganun lang. At saka sometimes kasi, minsan kapag FA to FA yung nag-uusap. Kunwari, um, kasi kayo mag-grocery na lang ako sa LA next week. Pag ibang tao yung nakakarinig, parang ang yabang. Pero pag kami lang, okay lang. Kasi normal lang namin yun. Pero siguro ganun. Tsaka hindi nila siguro alam kung gaano din kayo nakakamura since na ito na. Oo, oo, oo. Like ako, honestly, before, um, nung so, super active pa ng flying, um, talaga nag-grocery ako sa ibang bansa. Kasi ang laki talaga ng diferensya. Like, Sometimes, pag sinisale pa nila, bongga-bongga. Oo, oh, di ba alam din naman natin kapag sa ibang country, may Black Friday. Kung baka oh. yung sale ng ibang bansa, hindi katulad sa atin dito. Sa atin, ang <laughs> pag-day <laughs> sale. Tsaka, <laughs> so, I guess, siguro natin. depende yan sa definition mo ng lavish. Mm -hmm. Ano ba yung lavish? Pinagirapan nyo naman yun. Oh. Pinagtarapan mo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. True. Yun. So, that's it. A nurse's job is to do menial task and dirty work. Uh, okay. Sige. Sabihin natin, yung dirty work talaga, for some people, na hindi sanay dun sa trabaho natin. Dirty job talaga. So, hindi naman dirty job. Dirty work, per se, siguro. Kasi, naglilinis kami ng pokes. Naglilinis kami ng ihe. Mm -hmm. Nagdadrain kami ng secretions ng pasyente. Kung baga, hindi siya gawain ng normal siguro na tao. Pero sa amin kasi ng mga nurses, it's part of the job na alagaan namin yung pasyente. Yes. So, dirty man sa tignan, pero hindi namin sa nakikita na dirty. Like, for, kaya nga sinasabi ko din na hindi ka tatagal dito sa profession na to. Sa four years pa lang ng college mo, talagang anytime within those years, susuko ka talaga kung hindi ka talaga para doon. Lalo yes. na dugo, di ba? Hindi pa mga tao sa dugo. First Ako. year, second year, di ba? Ako. Hindi <laughs> talaga, as in, kung takot ka sa dugo, it's either mag-quit ka at under the states or talagang masasanay ka na lang. Kasi meron ako mga klase dati na nangihimatay pag nakakita ng dugo. Ngayon, doktor na yun. So, oh, kung baga parang na? nakaka, nakakasa, it's either kasanayan mo kasi gusto or mo Or maging lang. motivation mo oh, siya. Oh. Kung baga parang yun yung magpapatapang siguro din sa'yo. Yes. Dirty, oh, dirty siguro, pero sa amin kasi hindi. So, I think misconception siya. Siguro yung nagsabi ng noon, baka hindi niya kaya siguro. Flight attendants have a lover in every country. Alam mo, I think, itong misconception na yan, dating-dating pa to. As in, siguro way back, like 1960s, 70s, siguro ganun. Kasi during those times, kasi ang ahaba talaga ng layover nila. Tapos, like kunwari, 15 days or more than sometimes, I think yata a month, silang nasa labas ng bansa. So, ganun. Kaya siguro ganun. I think that's more than enough time to fell in love with someone. Pwede, di ba? Why not? Pero kasi with my generation now, parang hindi naman na siya applicable. Kasi although marami kaming flights in a month, pero um, our layovers like ano lang, mga five days lang, kasama na doon yung travel time mo, papunta, tsaka yung travel time going home. So, Unless na lang talaga, talagang sadyang marupok ka. Oo, oh, oh. or <laughs> kayong intention doon, siguro. Oo, oh, oh. pero uh, kaya mo bang ma-inlove in three days? Ganon. <laughs> Parang ang hirap din naman. Baka siguro. naman friends lang. Kasi oh. siguro. Or sometimes ganon. Friends lang. Marami, lang ganun, marami ka lang nagiging friends. Oh, oh. Na friends of friends, ganon. But not necessarily lover. No. Nurses are less intelligent and less skilled than doctors. Grabe, ang meme nila doon. Um, dun sa less intelligent, siguro, um, may certain part ako na nag agree Kasi hindi naman lahat talaga kami nurses. Ako ha, personally, hindi naman talaga ako matalino. 
Siguro smart ako. Pero ako, alam ko sa sarili ko, hindi ako matali. Siguro masipag lang din ako mag-aaral. Pero hindi lahat ng nurses matatalino. Kasi when you say matalino, more on academics kasi sila. Si Tay Kung Lovely, or yung nag-top one, or nasa, nasa honorable mention. Yes. Kaya nga sinasabi ko din dun sa mga ibang nurses or mga bagong nurses, regardless kung anong board exam na grade or yung score mo sa board exam, wala pang type of type. Kahit yung Kung Lovely mo nakaklase before, pag pumasakay lahat sa board exam ng nursing, wala. Pantay-pantay na kayo. So, doon naman sa ano, uh, di ba isa, less intelligent, less, less skill. Yeah. Hindi. Ako, I admire those doctors na minsan or mas madalas na nag-look up sila sa nurses. Specifically, IV insertion. Yung swero. May mga doctors talaga nagsasabi sa mga patient or dun sa mga relative ng patient, lalo na pagbata. Ay, hindi po, ano, nurses na lang po yung gagawa sa inyo. Kasi mas magagaling po sila sa amin. Everyday po din ang ginagawa yan. I admire those doctors na talagang alam nila kung... Kasi minsan hindi na nila nagagawa yan. Although alam ko marunong sila. Pero dahil hindi, sila, hindi nila ginagawa yan. Kasi more on um, treating kasi sila. Yes. Hindi na nila, wala, kasi um, ang IV insertion is a skill. So pag hindi mo talaga siya nagagawa, Every parang o oh, parang nangangalawang ka parang gano'n. Okay. Eh kami, pag nurses, wala talagang sa siguro sa isang araw, more than 10 siguro kami nag insert parang ganyan. Oh, so alam so, nila yeah. na meron kaming certain skills na ina-admire ng doctors na sila mismo nagsasabi dun sa patient, ay hindi po mas magagaling po silang gumawa sa amin. That's actually makes sense. Ano talaga, kung baga may skills sila, may skills kami, kung baga pag magkansuti kami ng doktor na yun, nagpo-compliment kami kasi alam niya kung paano yes. kami gagalaw dun like sa... Like you work hand in hand. Oh. It work talaga, di ba? Oh. Any other company. Although yung iba talaga medyo mayayabang, so sila na yun. <laughs> Pero oh. may mga doctors talaga na um, sobrang humble. So, oh. Oh. sana lahat. Winner, winner. Okay, okay. I am next. Siya. Flight attendants must help to put bags in overhead bins. Ay, naku talaga. Oh. <laughs> ako talaga. Ito na talaga siguro yung chance ko to clarify. Wow. Oh, to clarify oh, some things. Nga, yes. Um, it's not our duty to help you with your um, luggages or your carry-on baggages per, per se. Um, kaya nga tinawag na carry-on eh. Kaya nga tinawag na carry-on baggage. Kasi dapat kaya mong i-carry personally. We are here to assist. Just in case, like kunwari, yung mga lola na syempre medyo mahirap na sa kanilang mabilip ng ano. Tapos mm -hmm. kaya yung mga um, medyo syempre yung iba, shorter na, shorter people or whatsoever. So, i-assist lang namin. Tutulungan namin. Tulong. Tulong kumbaga. Ah, wait lang. Kukwento ko lang ng very, very quick ko ha. I had this incident before pa. Before pa, business class ako nun um, naka-assign. So, pagdating niya na aeroplano, ba, dire-diretsyo na siya, di ba? Kasama yung luggage niya. Tapos, ginanon niya talaga ako. Sabi niya, Ay, grabe siya! Oh, grabe talaga. Pero syempre, bilang, I love my job. <laughs> Lumapit naman ako. Tapos, sabi niya lang sa akin, parang, Can you put this up? Patanong niyo, can you put this up ha? Pero may gano'n. Gusto mo yun? Parang the gesture doesn't like, ano, match with the, ano, with the question. question. It makes a lot of difference kung papaano mo sasabihin. So, kung hindi mo talaga kaya yung 7 kilos, um, pwede naman siguro yung, hi, can you help me? Can you assist me? Can you assist me? Put this up. Alam mo, pag gano'n talaga sila, I really like, um, make it a point na, to help them, or basta, in any way I can. Kasi nafe-feel ko na nag empathize sila sa akin. Na hindi lang sila ang pasahero sa buong aeroplano. Marami din silang kailangan namin intindihin. And it really, really makes a lot of difference. All nurses are the same. Medyo generic yun ba? Siguro ano, in, hindi. Hindi, kunyari may may capacity or may ability to nurse na to, it doesn't necessarily mean that means na lahat ng nurses is pare-pare. Hindi. Meron talagang mas more on compassionate sila sa patient, pero namang sobrang galing sa skills. Yun nga kanina, di ba? Meron din sobrang galing din sa theory. Hindi lahat pare-pareho. Siguro ang pwedeng pare-pareho lang sa amin is kung paano namin inaalagaan yung pasyente. Oh, okay. Kasi wala eh. Like standards. Oh, oh, standards yeah, nila eh. Kung meron mang magiging difference ng nurse 1 and nurse 2, siguro yung extra mile na lang nilag doon sa ginagawa ng pasyente. 
Pero yun, so pero hindi, hindi talaga, hindi lahat ng nurses pare-pareho. Hmm. Flight attendants only work a day or two a week. Okay. With my generation now, baka pwede namang totoo. So like, kasi isang fly mo lang sa America, five days out na yun. So, one leg tsaka second leg pa away. So that's five days already. But we're, if we're talking about our monthly schedule, um, siguro in a month, lumilipad kami like four to five times. Depends. Halo-halo yun. Regional, mid-hall, at saka mga trans-Pacific. Yan, yung mga America and the likes. So, ayan. Advancing your nursing career means you must go back to school full-time. So, kung, kung practicing nurse ka at gusto mong mag-advance ng career mo or ng academics mo, hindi siya necessarily na mag uh, five to six days a week ka pumapasok. Kasi pag master's degree na, May choice meron, ka ba? Meron, meron naman actually. Okay. Pwede kang mamili talaga ng school mm -hmm. uh, na nag-offer ng sila ng Saturday and Sunday. Kasi alam nila yung mga practicing nurses is nag-duty ng sabi na, let's say, mga four times a week or five times a week kasi 40 hours. Eh. So, five oh. days yun. So, pwede kang mag-straight duty ng five days tapos Saturday and Sunday, which is yung usual na kaso, uh, papasok ka naman sa school ng Saturday and Sunday. So, technically speaking, wala ka ng pahinga. Oh. Pero, Pero nag-aaral ka naman. So, hindi talaga siya, oh, okay, hindi naman talaga siya full, full time. Ang sinasabi na full time siguro is, kapag full load ka. Kunyan, pag sinabi, pag meron kasi part-time tsaka full-time eh, ng master's eh. So, pag tinanong ka, ano ka full-time ka ba? Pag sinabi mo full-time, oo, oh, oh, kasi kinuha mo lahat yung required units per se. Okay. Which is, which means that you're days. practicing. Oo. Oh, oh. You're practicing. Oh. Puro ka lang aral. So, Saka sayang, sayang, kung dun sa mga bago siguro nurses, kung meron mang nakasubscribe sa akin na um, nurses or bagong graduate or bagong board, board passer na nurses, na gusto nyo talagang um, mag-aral or i-advance yung nursing career nyo. Wala kasi ibang way talaga. Tanungin nyo siya, ang dami niya nang ilaral yan. Yun, yun, yun pala. Kasi na-explain ko na siya dun sa 32 Facts About Me. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, I'll put the link Medyo the description. Medyo bored siya. Inaral niya talaga lahat. So, yun. Pinapail niyang lahat. Sayang din naman. Yung mga, yan, yung mga bago. Uh, Walang kagaya na ito mag-aral. <laughs> sayang, sayang kasi. Talaga na tayo. Take time na mag-aral kayo kasi kapag natapos na mahirap talaga sa una or mahirap talaga syempre pabalik ulit mag-aral pero kapag natapos mo siya tapos master's degree yun na I mean next level of bachelor's degree worth it naman so wala na ibang pwede kumuha nun sa inyo flight attendants get jobs easy minsan kasi yung mga tao diba like iniisip nila pag maganda ka okay na <laughs> Parang hindi na kailangan ng brains. Pero, you know, being a flight attendant, you have to be both. You have to be both. Parang just like nurses din, hindi ka rin tatagal kung medyo at one point merong hindi balance Like your IQ or your EQ. Kasi, like, in in a flight, pwedeng mangyari sa amin yung nagpapaanak, giving birth. Um, that's why you were trained to be first aid, um, Doctor? Practitioner. Responder. Responder and practitioner. So, ayan. We were trained to do all those first aid things hanggang sa pagpapaanap and stuff. Para, syempre, it's a 12-hour flight so anything can happen. Um, maraming beses na na nagkaroon ng may namatay on board, nagkaroon ng um, kung ano-ano emergency procedures that we need to do. So, lahat yun, kailangan mong aralin at one point. And pag hindi mo na naipasa yung mga exams na required for it, um, otherwise, hindi, wala, ligwa, ganon. So I don't think being a flight attendant, you can perceive being a flight attendant as an easy job. Or we can get in easily, basta may itsura ka lang, or makinis ka lang, or ganon. First step lang, lang yun siguro, kapag kunyari First step makita, lang yun. Pero yung wala, uh -huh. yung, Na to get in Ayan. is different from surviving ah, until you get released to fly. Ah, okay. Surviving the training. Diba? So yun yun. Iba yun. Nurses are only found in hospitals. Mm -hmm. So feeling ko naman most of you siguro or alam nyo rin naman na hindi lahat. Kasi 
Like for example, majority or actually feeling ko nga baka hindi majority ng percentage ng nurses is nagtatrabaho sa hospital eh. Kasi yung iba, nakagraduate, nag board exam, hindi nursing career yung kinuha nila. Or kung talagang nag-practice sila ng nursing, hindi lang sa hospital kasi merong iba na sa nag-FA. Yung iba na sa call center kasi nga yes. syempre, being wise or practical, talaga mas malaki yung trap yung sweldo nila doon. Mm -hmm. Plus meron din namang hyperbaric nurse. Maritime. Sorry. Parang maritime. Barbaric lang yan. Parang maritime siya eh. Parang ganun. So, yun yung mga nagda-dive. Nagda-dive talaga. Na nurse. Tapos meron ding parang flight nurse. Hindi ko alam kung ano. Nurse steward at ang tawag doon. Nurse steward at saka stewardess. Parang ganun. Hindi. Pero ano pa to ha? Like, I think years ago. As in years and years ago. Hindi ko na yun na ako. Meron. Meron parang isang nurse. Ah, hinahire talaga. Pero ano pa to? I think like... Hindi <laughs> 70s. Ganyan pa siguro yan. Ang tayo siguro nga na kayo na yung tinere. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. Pero meron din talagang jobs na talagang... Parang gano'n, parang flight uh, steward nurse o kaya steward desk. Baka sa iba ng airline meron. Yung talagang sure. instead of ambulance, ang ginagamit nila either helicopter or plane. Tapos nagsusundo sila ng pasyente sa ibang country. Uh -huh. Tapos dadalhin doon sa isang country na yun. Yun, in instead of ambulance nga yun, plane or helicopter yung ginagamit mm -hmm. So, marami, marami din talaga. So, hindi lang talaga uh, lahat ng nurses na sa hospital na. We are not all dating a pilot. Oh, hindi naman talaga. <laughs> hindi talaga. Although, nagkataon lang talaga, you know, the universe conspired and ganyan, I met a pilot. Hindi. Anyway, <laughs> my husband kasi is a pilot. Pero hindi yun required, okay? Hindi required, hindi lahat ng date ng pilot. At hindi rin kailangan lahat mag date ng pilot. Una sa lahat, hindi naman one is to one. <laughs> oh, wow. Oo, oh, oh. hindi naman one is to one. So, paano yun, guys? So, I think, ano lang to, yung common misconception na yun, I find it very funny. Medyo similar yun sa misconception na kapag taga-mirror yung ka, at least sa okay, 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 okay. Hindi, hindi naman ganyan. Not at all. Nagkataon. Nagkataon. Tinamaan sa akin. Nagkataon <laughs> lang. So with that being said, we'd like to end this vlog right here. But before anything else, we'd like to quote, I, I'd like to quote lang. Uh, my bestie. My bestie! Miss <laughs> Martina Navratilova. Wow. Sana nasabi ko na maayos ka. Basta yun. Anyway, she said that labels are for clothing. And labels are not for people. Ah, uh, de ba? Tama uh, naman yon. You know, I think stereotypes will always be there, and hindi na sila mawawala. It's gonna be part of everyone's personal jobs, na rin siguro. Or I think you call it like occupational stereotyping. Uh, Basta wag people yung gilid. Well, let's try not to. You know, sometimes may mga ta, may mga let's give it time na you know to get some to get to know other people instead na judging them or looking at them like sa panglabas lamang. Yun know? na kaya kung inuulit dapat hindi daw sa tao yung gilid. Yeah. Kaya dapat yung relationship kailangan bilid. Ay, kailangan. <laughs> kasi kaya yung mga damit ka may labels oh, eh. Oo, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sa tao. Ibang topic kasi yun. <laughs> <laughs> may gusto ko pang sabihin. Ano pa topic to? Ibang topic. Wait, kang mali natin sa anil to eh. Occupational stereotyping ah, kasi. Ah, may kala ko sa mga oh. relationship. Ah, oh, hindi ganun. Hindi ganun. Hindi ganun. Hindi ganun. Hindi ganun. Okay, we'd like to call Papa Jack. Papa Jack, if you're watching, please join us. Charat! Yun, yun. Siguro yan sa kanya. Ako, by Forrest White Baker. Sabi niya, stereotypes do exist, but we have to walk through them. So, oh, and saan na, naman talaga lahat. Yun na nga yung sinabi ko. It's either siguro i-accept mo, or if you have voice, you know, explain mo, di ba? Pero hindi mo naman kailangan mag-explain sa lahat ng tao. Be motivated by yes. it. Ako, I'm all about breaking stereotypes. Butter. Alam mo yun, parang, um, mas gusto kong pinapatunayan to prove other oh, people. Oo, oh, tama-tama. Hindi, hindi talaga to, hindi ako to, hindi kami ganito. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Para din kasi yung iba, hindi yung ignorant na... Oo, oo, oo. And, na. yan. Uh, with this vlog, sana uh, we gave enlightenment to all these mis... mis, mis <laughs> to all these misconceptions <laughs> about being a nurse and being a flight attendant. Siguro pag meron pa silang... Ano, kung meron pa kayong ibang misconception. Pwede nyo lagay din sa baba kung ano. 
Baka yes. pwede namin, sasagutin namin sa din personal. Oo, uh -huh. kung gusto nyo ng part 2, just let us know. Yes. We'd be most willing to. Anyway, um, gusto mo mag bang mag-promote ng ano? Ah, ako siguro. Social media um, so, account. So, here, or beta on YouTube and then for Instagram, it's HeckyHex. So, lalagay na lang din namin kung saan may space dito ng work on. Para at least nakikita nyo saan na mabasa. So, if you guys want to follow us on our social media accounts, you can follow me at Louie Dioko on Instagram and on YouTube, Louie Dioko. And subscribe na rin kayo and hit that bell button down below so you can, I, you can be notified if I have videos like this or anything else. Yes. So, yeah, we hope you like this video and... Thank you and we'll see you again. Thank you. Bye! Bye!